So let's come to a static hold in our downward facing dog. Take a moment to connect to the breath. Inhaling slowly through the nose. Exhaling slowly, finding that balance so that the inhale and the exhale are equal in length and equal in strength. Good. On your next breath in, come forward to a high plank. So your shoulders are aligned directly above the wrists. Find that little tuck of the tailbone so the bum's not sticking in the air. You're squeezing the muscles in the front side of the body. Hollow the chest, hollow the belly. If this feels too intense, you can always drop down onto the knees for a gentler version of your plank. Otherwise, knees lifted. And we're just going to sway here. So start to push into the toes. Find a little bit of movement if it feels good. And remember, it doesn't always have to be a static position. Every posture can be an opportunity to explore. This is going to strengthen and stretch into your wrists, into your feet. So feel free to play around here. Or also feel free to be still if you would rather be still, if you prefer that. It's entirely up to you. This is your practice. Good. Now we're going to come down onto the knees. Press the hips back towards the heels. Child's pose. And use your breath here to recharge. And filling the whole of the back body with air as you inhale and exhale, relax even deeper, softening towards the ground. Good. Now lift the head. We're going to come back up to that high plank position. So snap it back. Find your strength and then push down really strongly into the floor. So instead of the chest dropping towards the ground, you're going to try to lift it a tiny bit higher, lifting up and away from the earth. And then pick up your right hand. Stay really controlled here. Tap the left shoulder and then place the hand back down and then switch. So left hand taps the right shoulder and just keep alternating like this. And you're trying to keep the weight as central as possible. So although you're shifting from one hand to the other, see if you can keep the weight in the middle as best you can. Good, let's go for one more on each side. And tap, good. Now bring the knees back down, press back child's pose. Good, so we're finding that balance. Working, building strength, building heat, and then resting in between to enable the body to recover, the breath to rebalance. Good. Now, come back up to your high plank position. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, find your strength, find your alignment, hollow the front side of your body. Now push the floor away, pick up your right foot. The knee is going to tap your right tricep. See if you can get it to actually touch. Tap and then press it back. And the same on the second side. So left knee lifting, squeezing into the side body, leaning as far forwards as you can and press it back. And again, just alternating. It's challenging, but we're hardcore. You've got this. Keep it going. Maybe your arms are shaking right now. <laughs> Maybe you're loving me or hating me right now, but you've still got to do it. <laughs> Keep it going. Stay strong. Let's do one more on each side. Tap. And tap. Whew, well done, you survived. Press back. Child's pose. And listen to your breath here. Good. Now lifting the head. Come back to a downward facing dog. You're going to come up onto your tippy toes, look forwards, stepping or hopping to the front of your mat. Take a breath in and lift the chest, lengthen through the torso. And as you exhale, fold over the legs. Knees can be bent if you need to. Good. Breathe in, reaching all the way up and overhead. Bring the palms to meet each other. And then exhale, 
hands beside you. Good, we're gonna take a step out to the side with the right foot. So a decent distance between the feet and take the hands onto the waist. You can turn your toes out, turn your heels in, and we'll come to a sumo squat or a goddess posture. You wanna have the knees pointing in the same direction as the toes, so not knocking in towards the midline. So see if you can bend a little deeper and try not to have the ribs or the bum sticking out. So you don't want a back bend here. You want to think of squeezing the front side of the body and tucking this tailbone between the legs so the back is flat and not curved. So think ribs in, belly in, tailbone lengthening towards the floor. Good. Now bring the palms together. So really push the palms so they have that activity in the core as well. And we're just going to pulse. So small movement, lower and lift, lower and lift, keep breathing. Nice, stay strong. For three, two, and one. Good, hold it low, keep the palms pressing. You're gonna pick up your right heel, so just stretch into the sole of the foot, lift the heel, and then bring it back down. Stay low through the hips, switch, left heel lifts, bring it back down, and we'll just alternate. Moving from one side to the other, stretching, and strengthening. Good, let's do one more on each side. Right heel lifts, left heel lifts, good. Now push into the feet, straighten out your legs. You can bring the hands to the waist as you re-square the feet and then roll the shoulders all the way down the back, lift the chest, inhale deeply. And on an exhale, we can fold in half. Let's bring the palms to the floor. Walk them back so the fingers come in line with the toes. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Good, using your core to draw you deeper into that stretch. Nice, now inhale, lift the chest halfway. Take your left hand to the center and start to reach your right arm up in the air for a twist. Try to keep your hips in line, use the core Lengthen from head to tailbone in opposite directions and breathe. Nice, now switch sides. So the right hand can come to the floor, the left arm lifts. Good, now the hand can come back down. Bring both hands to the waist. Inhale slowly, making your way back up to standing. And we're gonna come back to our goddess. So you're gonna turn the toes back out, bend into the knees, sit down nice and low. And you have two options. You can have the hands in prayer again, or try the arms reaching all the way up and overhead. So sinking down into the hips, you're gonna pivot on your right ball of the foot, dropping that right knee in towards the midline. So lower, and then open it back to your goddess. And again, left leg, knee drops in towards the midline. Doesn't have to touch the floor, but try to get close. And then back to your goddess. Nice, let's continue like this. So you're gonna bring some strength into the legs, into the butt. Stay with the breath. <laughs> Just do your best. Knee drops, knees open. One more time on each side, lower and squat, lower, and squat. Well done, now bring the hands back together. So we're gonna revolve our goddess now. You're gonna take the hands onto the legs. You're dropping your right shoulder down towards the midline, looking over the left shoulder. And then sink the hips down nice and low. And finding that twist. Good, and then switch sides. So left shoulder drops, looking over the right shoulder. Nice, and then back to the middle. So you're gonna point all the toes back towards the front of the mat, place the hands on the floor in front of you, and step back, downward facing dog. And just find your stretch, sinking the heels down towards the floor. Tilting the sit bones up towards the sky. Good. 
Good, let's come to a forward fold at the back of the mat. So you're gonna walk the hands towards the feet, take hold of opposite elbows, and just lengthen over the legs. Relaxing the head and the neck. You can shake out the head if it feels nice, releasing any tension. 